Neil here from Exterior Clean Melbourne and R Clean. I'm here on a roof uh, which is greater than 10 degrees and uh, we're going to do this panel clean. Now there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about solar panels being self-cleaning if they're on a roof of 10 degrees or more. Now I don't know where this comes from. I'm actually very surprised that even some manufacturers have put it on their websites. Um, but as a solar panel cleaner I know that that is simply not true. Panels are not self-cleaning and I'm going to show you today exactly um, with, without a shadow of a doubt why. So have a look at that, that's a clean piece of towel. Now let's imagine that rain, right, because that's what they say, they say rain will clean your panels, okay, uh, if, uh, if the, if the um, pitch is more than 10 degrees. So here we go. I'm, I'm putting some pretty intense rain right here through my brush right onto the panels and I'm actually using pure water here so which is not normally the case with rain. okay so there you go right now let's get this clean towel as you can see there it's completely clean let's give it a go so, just give it a Look at that folks, now that is dirt and grime that is compacted on the panels and it is reducing the efficiency of these panels. So now let's do this test again, now this is how we clean panels, um, so we clean them using uh, water fed brushes um, and we use pure water, so we have vehicles that have tanks in them. Uh, thousand litre tanks of pure water. So we don't use your garden tap water because that's got impurities in it. And so what we do is we wash the panels first, give them a, a good kind of general scrub and rinse. And then what we do is we take a glass safe scraper, and these are completely safe for solar panels. The, Blades are manufactured in Denmark, so they're actually quite expensive. Um, high quality blades, we use the same scrape on, on glass, so, um, so we take off all these kind of little sections of lichen that are on the panels, just on the edges, because they're going to basically be diminishing the uh, ability for the cell to generate energy. So, alright, so now we're going to re rinse again just to to kind of get that those little small particles of lichen off so there we go okay now now that we've done that okay now I'm going to put this on here same process look at that folks a speck of dirt there okay so that's really I hope that helps you as a, an individual because that's why I'm doing this whether you're a business or a, or, a, or, a, or a residential customer I hope that debunks the myth clearly um, and we work on both commercial and residential uh, buildings um, so give us a call we'll give you a quote and just remember, if you've spent thousands of dollars, I know I, I have, because I've got solar on my roof, and it, it costs me thousands of dollars, don't scrimp on spending a, a few hundred dollars to maintain them. At the end of the day, that money should be coming back to you. And if you wanted to put solar on your roof, I'm guessing you're looking for a saving. And in order to get that saving, you need to maintain the panels. So there we go, I hope that's helpful, give us a call and then based on how many panels you've got and the access, etc, we can give you a quote over the phone. Thanks for watching and uh, 